another class of English at emelinga.com. Today's class is devoted to consumerism and I invite everyone to join us. Let's make a pause and wait for the students to come. Hi, hello, Michael. How are you? Hello, Oksana. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I'm okay. And you? Good, fine, thank you. How's the weather? Is it cloudy and raining today in Kyiv? Today, all day. Uh, it's like ra rainy day. Yes, a rainy day. Do you like such a kind of weather, or you hate it? Oh, oh. No, exactly no. no, no, no not, not very. Uh, how to say it? Not very good. <laughs> really, I agree with you completely. I prefer when the sun is shining and when the spring is coming. So we are looking forward uh, to springs coming to to us. Let's hope that the weather is going to be better tomorrow. And uh, today we are going to talk about consumerism. Yeah. Do you know what does it mean? What it means? Yes. Yes. So, do you think that all of us uh, and our society in general is a kind of con consumerine society? Do we prefer to consume the products more than to produce them? Mm, uh, could, could you repeat? Do we what? prefer to use and to consume the products more than to produce them? Uh, I think in general uh, all people uh, uh, make uh, something like c c consume, consume. Uh, more, more than uh, produce. Uh, more than produce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let us say what do we consume and do we, what do we produce? <laughs> mm. I don't know. Uh, Maybe uh, we can produce something with uh, something close with uh, handmade work. Maybe yes, exactly. You're right. You, you need no to buy maybe postcard. You can uh, how to say it? It's uh, maybe not draw. Uh, to Prepare. So yes, I agree with you completely. What about food and clothes? Do we prefer to buy them or have a original clothes made by ourselves? What do you prefer? Uh, I prefer to buy, uh, but uh, it, it uh, depends on situation. Maybe no, I, I never uh, may uh, cook uh, cooking. Yes, make. Mm -hmm. a cook or how to say right. Do, do the cooking. I never cook. Yes. I never cook. I never do the cooking. Uh, I but uh, I think it's uh, economic. Economize. Economize time. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, no, not to waste time. Just. Yes, it, yeah. it, it, uh, it give me to, to don't waste not to. It gives me an opportunity not to waste time. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Yes. So I prepared some dialogues for us. I hope that someone is going to join our mm -hmm. lesson and it is going to be more interesting to read the dialogues. So here is the link for you to open. Usual small talk. The, the usual way we train our conversational skills. I'm making the sound louder for you to be able to hear it. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, okay. Let's, Let's listen to the first dialogue. Oh, are you ready? Yes. Can you help me pick out a gift for my daughter? She might like a laptop computer. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Might I suggest a Mac? Okay, 
How much? Well, a 15-inch Pro is $2,100. Oh, that sounds great. I'll take it. Great. How would you like to pay for it? Here's my visa. Let me ring you up. Okay, sign here, please. Everything I need is in this box. It'll take her only a few minutes to get online. Thank you for your help. So long. Thank you for shopping here. Yes, thank you for listening. Let's read the dialogue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, first dialogue. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, I will read with you, yes? Yeah? Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, can you help me uh, pick out a gift uh, for my daughter? She might like a laptop computer. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Might I suggest a Mac? How, how much? Well, a 15-inch Pro is $2,100. That sounds great. I, I, I will take it. Great. How would you like to pay for it? Here is my visa. Let me ring you up. OK, sign here, please. Uh, everything I need is uh, in this box. It'll take her only a few minutes to get online. Uh, thank you for your help. So long. Thank you for shopping here. Mm -hmm. So, are there any unknown words in this dialogue, or do you understand everything here? Uh, it's interesting. Let me uh, ring you up. Mm -hmm. So, may I phone you? May I give you a phone call? Я могу вам позвонить. But uh, uh, what does it mean? Uh, if uh, they, they talk about the credit card, yes, and mm -hmm. uh, after that they sign, they make yes. a sign, yes. And mm -hmm. what does it mean? Uh, ring you up? I don't know, maybe it's uh, it's like uh, I don't know to put card in in, in the terminal. It's a for, uh, formality, just the thing that they usually do in, in the shops, so their procedure of how to sell. That's, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another dialogue. Are you ready? Is there someone else? No. No, no mm -hmm. one is going okay. to, to visit us today. I'm looking for a gift for my daughter. How about a laptop? Yes. She needs something to help her at school. How about a Mac? That sounds good. How much is one? Our newest 15-inch Pro is only $2,100. Only $2,100? Okay, let me have one. That's great. Will that be cash, check, or credit card? Let me dig my visa out of my purse. Okay, if you'll just sign here, please. Do I need to buy anything else? All she has to do is open the box and follow the instructions. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you have any problems, just call. Okay, let's read the dialogue. Okay, let's start. Uh, I start. <laughs> I'm looking for a gift for my daughter. How about a laptop? Yes, she needs something to help her at school. How about a Mac? That sounds good. How much is one? Our newest uh, 15 inch Pro is only $2,100. Uh, uh, yes, $2,100. Only $2,100? Okay, let me have one. Aksana, I'm sorry. Uh, can we read uh, 2.1 thousand? Yes. Mm -hmm, okay. Uh, um, Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. That's great. Uh, will be. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, will there be cash, check, or credit card? Let me dig my visa out of my purse. Uh, if you will uh, just, just sign here, please. Do I need to buy anything else? Uh, all she has uh, to do is open the box and follow the instruction. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you have any problems, just call. Yes. Good. And one more link for you to open. Uh, what, what is uh, let me dig? Dig at uh -huh. <laughs> To dig. And yes, to find. To find in the purse. 
Right. And, uh, and wood. Okay. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, All the rest okay. is familiar to you. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yes, good. And the link for you to open. Here is the link. We have a new student. Yeah. David. David, hello, how are you? David, do you hear us? Hi, how are you? Is anybody there? Uh, David, do you hear us? You, you need to turn on your microphone because we don't hear you. We don't okay, hear maybe, you. Okay, uh, maybe David make it later. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, here we have got the handout, discussion status consumerism. Question number one. What is the last thing you bought and was it necessary? Michael. Last thing I bought. Well, sometimes, you know, uh, women or men can go shopping and buy everything that is uh, good for them. They don't uh, think whether don't they mean. need them or Need this? It, it, uh, the goods uh, or not? No, not my uh, um, uh, purchase. Purchase. But uh, I uh, ask uh, that uh, other person uh, uh, buy for me. Uh, it's like not the lamp, uh, lamp A lamp, right? A lamp. Mm -hmm. yeah. I it, understand. It was, uh, uh, what is uh, what it necessity? Necessary. Was it necessary for it's you? Not necessary. It's necessity. Ne necessity. What is it? So it was necessary for you. So the thing that you needed, that uh, the thing yeah. that you can do without. I, I buy it with uh, the path with uh, mm, how to say it. Uh, in a problem. bigger quantity than it is necessary, than it is needed. Mm -hmm. Or more than it is necessary, more than it is needed. Necessary потребность, да? Yes, you are right. So sometimes we go shopping and we buy the things that we, don't, we actually do not need. How can we fight with this problem? How can we change the situation? <laughs> How can we cut down our spendings? Maybe you need to, if if you talk about food, you food need to or eat this or other other purchases. You need to eat uh, before before this. going shopping. Yes, <laughs> I understand. Yes, it's a good idea, good tip. Why not? So, uh, some people try to make a list before going shopping. Do you think that it is helpful to cut down the spendings? No, I think uh, you you will buy uh, another thing if you see uh, something in, if you see something interesting. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't help. It won't help. Or uh, attractive. Attractive, right? Something attractive, something that attracts your attention, that catches your Maybe eye in the shop. In the shop will will be uh, like a sales. Sale, uh, mm -hmm. sale, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So some products can be on sale, and uh, you'd okay. have a desire to buy them, and there will be nothing you can do, and you'll buy them. So, yes, mm -hmm. uh, you're right. So, do you feel good or bad after you buy something new? I feel nothing. Maybe it's uh, more close with a good feeling. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I understand. So it doesn't matter whether you buy or not buy something. It is all the same to you. It's not important. It's not important for you. How long does the feeling last? So, uh, if people, for example, a person uh, is always excited about having bought another thing, do you think that this person is a shopaholic? If the person tries to buy something, yes, tries to buy uh, something new all the time and feel and is feeling good after having bought something new, do you think this this person is a shopaholic or not? Mm. 
if we talk about the uh, definition, it's something like that. Something like <laughs> but, that. But uh, may, may, maybe uh, this person have a lot of money and uh, can afford it. Show. Uh, he, he, uh, like, no, it's not a level, but uh, something like that. Yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. So let's work with the vocabulary. Here we've got some words, interesting words for us to learn today. So consumerism. Let's try to match the definition for this word. Uh, the left hand column is the word, and the right hand column is the definition of it. Try to choose one. What what do you think is the best definition for this word? Consumerism. Okay, one second. Uh, okay, consumerism. Uh, <laughs> consumerism. Mm -hmm. Yes, one second. Stress on the second syllable of of this word. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, let's uh, read it. Um, maybe uh, it's uh, the desire to buy new things also. Yes, exactly, you're right. Keep up with Jones. What do, what, uh, do you think it means? Keep up with so keep up with somebody. Interesting, keep up, I don't know, keep up. Keep up. Yes, to be the same, to resemble somebody, to be alike, try to follow somebody, mm -hmm. try to copy the style of someone else. Maybe. Uh. Maybe it's uh, A variant exactly. to try mm -hmm. uh, to resemble other in one's neighbor. Hood. Hood. Or, or social uh, circle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Number three, epidemic. epidemic. Number three. Um, okay, epidemic. It's, mm, it's <laughs> maybe it's a problem uh, that is uh, widespread. Yes, you're right. A problem that is widespread. Guilty pleasure. Number four. Let's find the definition for this word combination. Guilty pleasure. Number four. Guilty. Guilty. Uh, vinovati. Vinovni. Guilty. Pleasure. Pleasure, you know the translation, right? Pleasure. Guilty pleasure. Number four. Okay. Um. Maybe it's uh, something that a person loves even uh, so, so they feel bad, guilty, uh, yes. that they love it. Yes, you're right. Hi. Mm -hmm. Number five, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, to feel high, to be feeling high. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, what? A very mm -hmm. good feeling that makes you happy for a short time. High. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. I'm feeling high today. Mm -hmm. Minimalism, another word for you, number poor, six. Poor, uh, low income, low income. The lack of attachment to material possessions. Uh, what? The lack of attachment to material possessions. So if you don't care for anything material, mm -hmm. if you do not want to own it or do not want to buy. So this is minimalism. So you are content with what you have and you don't want to buy anything more. So mm -hmm. I see. One in and one out. One in, one out. Number seven. One in, one out. Um, okay. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, 
okay uh, maybe it's a rule no i don't know yes you're right a rule or a policy in which you always get rid of something when you get something new so when you buy a new thing thing you have to get rid of something old of an old thing mm -hmm. so do you think that it is a good rule or like not you you need to uh, to throw it away throw it away yeah it's like a, a tradition in when for in Italy and Spain yes mm -hmm. as a New Year's Eve they are trying to get rid of ev of everything that they do not need mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the next one, have not, number eight, have not. Have not. Mm. This is poor or low income? Have not, have not. It's low income. Yes, no. shake one's head that number nine uh, it's, in the meaning I haven't money I, I haven't one yes have not yes you're mm -hmm. right number nine shake one's head at shakes one's head at good evening, good evening Yuri hello how are you how was your day uh, fine I am I soon uh, down soon I gone from my training badminton Mm -hmm. I understand, so that's great. Uh, did you go shopping today? No. Do you often yeah. go shopping? Often, but I see there was a very high price in the shops. Very high prices nowadays, yes. Prices are really very high, I, I know it. <laughs> but let's hope for the better. So, uh, do you think that our society is the society of the people who are consumers? Consumers. Right? Do we consume more or do we produce more? What's your point of view? Do you know what does it mean to consume? Uh, yes, to use. You're right. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that uh, we are the society of users or consumers? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Maybe some persons are consumer. Some people are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most of them. Mm -hmm. What about yourself? Do you prefer to produce by yourself something or do you prefer to buy something ready-made? For example, ready-made food, ready-made clothes or uh, something like that. So, Or do you prefer to do something with your hands? Mm. I only make to repair printers uh, mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. condition. Mm -hmm. I only make, I only mm -hmm. make uh, to repair computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, some people say that it is uh, easier to buy than to do. Do you agree with but this sometimes idea? Sometimes it is easier, but sometimes I think it's more important to do. The Mm. Is it itself. sometimes yes? Is it sometimes cheaper to do something by yourself than to buy? Yes. Can I you give an example? To repair the crane in the bathroom. To in repair the something is easier to repair, repair yourself by yourself. The crane, the crane in the kitchen for itself and it's much easier. Much easier. Mm -hmm. Good. So here is the handout for you. Please try to open it. Click on the link. And let's read about consumerism. How much stuff do we need? Here is the short text for us to read. Can you open the handout? Please tell me. Are you ready, Yuri? Uh, now it's ready. Ready? Okay, let's read about consumerism. You're welcome. Do you work hard uh, to keep up with the Jones? Jones, are you always hunting for the next best thing? 
if you answered yes, you are not alone. Consumerism is an epidemic in wealth country. Many people stop all at the mall before going home after work. Others are addicted to shopping channels. Not all consumers are shopaholics. Some people have one guilty pleasure. This may be golf clubs, brand name purses, or even take out coffee. Some people say that buy that buying new things makes them happy. Does shopping provide a short term high? The opposite of consumerism is a minimalism. Minimalists don't like unnecessary stuff. These people on the shop is absolutely necessary. They typically have a one in a one out policy. If they buy something new, it is because the old one is still worn or broken to use. Many minimalists don't even have a car. People in half not countries would shake their heads if they knew out our consumer habits. They would be shocked to learn that we throw out perfectly good electronics and clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Well done. And now let's deal with the uh, active vocabulary. So, do you work hard to keep up with Jones? What does it mean? Yuri, do you know the translation of it? To keep, wa keep up with Jones. It's no. a set of expression, a word combination. So, uh, Michael, can you explain to Yuri? We have just discussed it. Yeah, which one? To keep up with Jones. What does it mean? Like to follow uh, somebody. Yes, you are right. To follow someone's style, try to resemble others in one's neighborhood or a social circle, in for example, meaning, to copy yeah. someone. In the mm -hmm. meaning of social circle, uh, circles. Uh, you see circles you see on the people around you and try to make it the same way or mm -hmm. uh, there, maybe. And, and. Yes. So, Yuri, the question to you, do you uh, sometimes keep up with Jones? No. Do you try to resemble someone? No. Mm -hmm. What about you, Michael? Do you agree with Yuri or do you have another point of view? I think uh, all people, uh, maybe it's not, uh, it's not uh, clear, it's not uh, on... Uh, uh, Maybe, but uh, you, um, all people, um, not try, uh, may, maybe make it, yes, yeah? just make it, uh, because um, you cannot uh, go uh, on the street, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, in the in the special clothes, uh, it's, mm -hmm. it, you, you feel not comfortable. Comfort. Comfortable Comfort. with it. Comfortable, yeah. comfortable yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right, exactly. So, uh, Yuri, do you think that it is good to follow someone's uh, style, someone's style, and someone's uh, way of, uh, of dressing or <laughs> choosing clothes? Is it good to, to have an ideal of a person to follow or not? Um, maybe, uh, sometimes maybe. people say, if you want to become famous, you have to choose someone uh, and follow him, his style, his fashion, his uh, maybe way of you behavior, must have everything. Your own style, mm -hmm. Which is suited to you. You have to find your own one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Michael, do you agree with Yuri? I, I'm sorry, but uh, I, I don't hear the last part. I just write in the chat and I, I, I'm not listening to this part. Mm -hmm. So would you like to participate in today's class or not, Michael? Yes, yes. I participate, but uh, I, I, somebody writes in the chat and I need to answer. Mm -hmm. Good. So, uh, the question to you, Yuri. Consumerism is an epidemic in wealthy countries, isn't it? Do you agree with this statement? Do you think that I, it is an epidemic? I agree with this statement. Maybe I am mistaken, but I am agree. I agree without M. I agree with it. Without M. Okay. Why do you think so? Because in wealthy countries, uh, a lot of people buying a lot. 
we have a lot of money to buy. Mm -hmm. And that is why. Okay. Good. What does it mean, guilty pleasure, Yuri? Do you know? Guilty is a mm -hmm. And pleasure? Виновник удовольствия. No. <laughs> guilty pleasure is something different. Try to guess. For example, something that a person loves, even though they feel bad, guilty, that they love it. For example, I love chocolate, but uh, I can't uh, often eat it, and uh, this is my guilty uh, pleasure to eat it. Something which I, if I enjoy a television program, a piece of music. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, you're right. You're right. Uh, and uh, to be feeling high, short term high. Uh, what do you think it means? Short term high. To feel high, to be high, to provide a short term high. It's a Yes, it's a pleasure. Yes, some pleasure. A very good feeling that makes you happy even for a very short period of time. So it is high. Did you know about it? Yes. Do you, do you understand it? Yes. Okay. So the opposite of consumerism is minimalism. Do you agree? Yes. Uh, can we say that you are a minimalist? Because I have a car, I am a minimalist. Mm -hmm. How can you explain this term? Uh, what don't the, minimalists the, like? The, the person who didn't, didn't buy a lot of clothes. Mm -hmm. Only the necessary things. Only the things that he or she needs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a minimalist. <laughs> a minimalist. Okay. I understand. And what does it mean? Uh, people in have-not countries. So what countries are they? Have-not countries. Not, not rich countries. Not rich, yes. People with a lower income, right? So can we say that we are a people in have-not country? Yes. Yeah. Why not? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be shocked? What can you make? Uh, what can make you to be shocked? Maybe a very high price. Very high prices in shops. Yes. Okay. Now, after the text, we have got comprehension questions. Have you found it? Question number one. Yuri, you're welcome. According to the reading, what is an epidemic in well-to-do countries? What is an epidemic in well-to-do countries, according to the text? Do you remember? Epidemic is maybe consumerism. Consumerism, right. According to the reading, consumerism is an epidemic in well-to-do countries. You're yeah, right. Question number two, Michael. Why does the reading mention take out coffee? Okay. Okay, question number two. Uh, why does the reading mention take out coffee? Mm-hmm. Do you remember from, from the text? Uh, what is a mention and take out? Yes, mention to remember. Remember to uh, just and take out. Uh, that is the coffee that we can carry with you, right? Take out coffee. So the reading mentions take out coffee as an example of guilty pleasure. So we love coffee, coffee but we can't use it all the time and uh, it's a kind of a guilty pleasure for us and uh, this is a kind of a metaphor in the text, right? Okay. Uh, I just see and uh, where is it in the it's text? question number two, right? No, no, no. Uh, and uh, uh, where is it about this? Uh, in, uh, ah, okay, in the second paragraph. Paragraph, yes, yes, you're right, you're right. Question number three. You're, you're welcome. What is the opposite of consumerism? Minimalism. Minimalism is the opposite of consumerism, right? Number four, Michael, you're welcome. Number four. Uh, would you call a person who doesn't like 
to own stuff. Mm. <laughs> Would do COVID or something that doesn't I like see. its own stuff. Mm -hmm. But in the uh, text, do you remember? Uh, so it is an opposite to consumer. Mm -hmm. Consumerist. Mm -hmm. Opposite to this term. Okay. Mm, I don't remember. Maybe it's. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe it is minimalist. Right, the person who doesn't like to own stuff to buy something new and uh, use the things that he or she has. But uh, what does it mean? What do you call a person who doesn't like to own stuff? Mm -hmm. Как вы назовете человека, который не хочет владеть uh, чем-то? Yes, stuff means things. Right, different uh, things that maybe we material, maybe material, material, stuff, goods, goods, right? The things that we buy in the shop. Mm -hmm. This is stuff. Who doesn't like to own stuff? Who не хочет владеть to own stuff? Разными вещами. Stuff. Разными вещами. Mm-hmm. Do you understand it? Minimalist, right? Okay, question number five. Yuri, you're welcome. Why would people in favored countries shake their heads at shopaholics? Because they are shocked about shopaholics, about their they to do. Right, yes, it's thank you. Because they threw out perfectly good electronics and clothes. Good, exactly. Good. Now you have to find the opposites. Match the words on the left to the opposites on the right. So, uh, you're, you're welcome, number one. Minimalism, consumerism. Okay, high. Like Low. Okay, have not. Necessity. Have not, no. Mm. Isolated event. Wealthy, have not, wealthy. What is the wealth in Russian? Wealth, wealth богатство, wealthy, богатый. Богатый. Have not, not this is, yes, poor, have not, this is poor or developing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guilty pleasure, guilty pleasure. Necessity. Okay, epidemic. Isolated event. Yes, isolated event, okay. Good, and now, gravity. You're, you're welcome to read. Imagine that consumerism was the topic of a gravity wall. What would your work look like? Use colorful words and pictures to create your art. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Do you like graffiti, Yuri? No. Why don't you like it? Because I never do it. You never do it. What do you think about people who do it? I think they must uh, paint pictures, not graph. They must draw pictures, paint pictures, not the walls. Well, but but sometimes it's uh, it's like art. It's mm -hmm, a kind of art sometimes. Yes, I agree. But with I you. never do it. I never do it. I, I didn't understand. That's why I don't like, like it. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, uh, uh, it depends on situation. Sometimes we need to. See, see on this if it's uh, um, something um, uh, like a piece of art. No, I I I start with the opposite. It's, mm -hmm. it's something, something stupid. stupid. Yes, like uh, uh, they draw. I don't know what is it. It's something. Как вот я не знаю слово такое есть что каракули. Maybe some nonsense. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, maybe some science. Yes, maybe. Mm -hmm. it, it's. Uh, yeah, I think this, this is process to um, port it uh, to which port it spoils. Spoils the houses. Yes, and 
uh, exterior. Maybe correct a little bit scribble. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. Good, good of you, sir. If you had the chance to write something about our society uh, in the form of graffiti, what would you write, Yuri? I write maybe different people and nature and what people want in their world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand. How to, how to decide their problems. Yes. Yeah, financial problems. Mm -hmm. yeah, I see. Well, we've got another student. Hello, how are you? Please introduce yourself. Hello. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fine, thank you. I'm Samir from Morocco. Morocco? Yeah, Morocco, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. How long have you been studying English? Is this the first class at mlingu.com? No, I was I was uh, using for uh, I have been using uh, Verblink mm -hmm. as a website. It's, it's not that's one one year and a half. Um, one year it's and not a half. frequently. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. because um, because French here it's the first uh, foreign language, so we don't use uh, much English at all, and just by by conversation I can just. Uh, uh, explain explain myself at at least. Yes. Okay. So there you can have some communicative practice, and uh, uh, I think that here you you'll get the communicative uh, practice too, and learn some more about grammar and uh, some vocabulary. Do you agree? Ah, uh, okay. okay. What's your future career? What's your future profession? Where are you going to become? Yeah, I finished. Uh, I finished a contract as an engineer in automation, and uh, now I'm looking for a new job. So, so do far, you need, uh, do you need English for your future job? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. I understand. Maybe. What's your native language? Uh, Arabic. Arabic. Yeah, Arabic. I understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the most difficult for you to learn in English? Grammar, or uh, vocabulary, or reading, listening? Uh, I don't think uh, the, the um, to find the way uh, to find a way how to learn English because English is not a, a difficult language but uh, I'm trying these days to uh, to start uh, learning English but how to do that maybe sometimes with with written I get bored sometimes with the uh, I don't know to uh, to watch movies but so far I'm. I'm looking for the best way to enrich my, my vocabulary, but uh, mm -hmm. I think it's English is a flexible, flexible uh, language, not like French or yeah, it's uh, it's not that difficult. Yes, exactly. I agree with you completely. So English is not so very difficult, but it really requires lots of practice with uh, different people, and in that case, you'll be able to uh, speak fluently and uh, with no mistakes. Do you agree? Yeah. Totally agree. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, one more student. Valentina. Hello. Hello. <coughs> Do you hear us? Hi. How are you? Yes. You say the fine. Thanks. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Pichora. Uh, it is Comey Republic. Comey Republic. I understand. Uh -huh. Well, uh, is this the first time you're this site? Uh, it is the second time, but uh, I can write, in общем, that I didn't get it the last time. I understood. It's okay. I hope that uh, the next I'm time... Late. Mm -hmm. I was late, right. Mm -hmm. Next time everything is going to be fine. So, uh, today we are talking about consumerism. Do you know this term, Samir? Yeah, consumerism. It's, uh, it's uh, how much do you, do you consume every day like that? Yes. So, do you think that you're a minimalist or uh, another sort of person? Can you say that uh, you're, you're really a consumer? Do you like buying things that you do not need? Uh, yeah, I'm a consumer. Uh, uh, when it was when it comes 
about uh, clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So, some sometimes something catches your eye and you can't keep from buying it. Uh, do Do you have yeah. such a situation in your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Som sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes yeah, you spend a lot of money uh, uh, to buy clothes. I understand. So, what uh, do you do to uh, keep your spendings and not to spend too much? Not to waste money. Uh, no, I don't waste money because I, I'm uh, I'm a tranquil person, so I don't. Uh, it's uh, rare that I go to uh, parties or just. Uh, yeah, I just spend money for the uh, for the necessities. So I don't spend money for waste my money for some clothes that I will not uh, dress. No, it's just for the necessity and something. Uh, yeah, just like that. I'm not a squander person. I see. So, so the question to you: uh, What will happen to the world if consumerism continues to rise in wealthy countries? Sami, what do you think? Yeah, it's it's um, it's bad thing. Like in Middle East and like in U.S., like a, it's the way of life is uh, continue to people uh, waste a lot of money for for. Uh, for for a lot of things that don't worth that, so, mm -hmm. like in Middle East, they spend a lot of money f to uh, for food, for yeah, for uh, shopping. So, yeah, it's 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 mm -hmm. not it's not good that because uh, at the same time there is a lot of uh, uh, people they starve in Africa. Yes, I agree with you completely. So, Valentina, do you think that consumerism is a problem or not? Valentina, do you hear us? Valentina, you need to turn on your mic. Turn on your mic, please. So? Okay. Maybe uh, I See try me? to answer. What is Michael? the question? Yes, you are welcome. So, uh, do you think that consumerism is a real problem or it is not? Mm, I think it's not a problem because uh, if if uh, people or person like it, uh, it's uh, it's it's uh, uh, his his own or her own business. Uh, uh, it's okay, I think. So it's not a problem, really. Uh, yes. You really uh, agree? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay, so another question. What guilty pleasure could you not live without? Explain why you're addicted to buying this item. Samir, you're welcome. Do you know what does it mean, guilty pleasure? Samir? <laughs> Do you hear us? No. It's interesting. Something happened with the sound. <laughs> yes, something wrong. But yeah. Indina, do you hear us? Maybe not. Maybe not, unfortunately. So, uh, guys, if you hear us, say something or write in the chat. Okay? So, <coughs> you read the question to you. What guilty pleasure could you not live without? Explain why you are addicted to buying this item. So, what do you like most of all, and what can you live without? Guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. Guilty pleasure of yours? Do you know what does it mean? What it means? What does it mean? When you uh, try to uh, uh, to do something that uh, that is not good, that is not good. For example, eating too much ice cream or chocolate, buying, uh, keeping buying the things that you do not need but you love them and you can't keep uh, from buying it. 
you just go to the shop and buy it again and again. This is your guilty pleasure. For example, my guilty pleasure is chocolate. I can't keep from buying a new bar of chocolate uh, each day because I love it. And this is my guilty pleasure. What about you, Yuri? What do you like buying? Maybe What's your guilty Coffee, coffee. Coffee or mm -hmm. juice or mineral juice. water. Mineral, mineral water. 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 Mm -hmm, I understand. Well, what about what about you, Michael? What's your guilty pleasure? Mm, I need to think. It's hard to say. <laughs> Difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah. Samir, what about you? Do you hear us? Yeah, yeah. I yeah? Hear you. Uh, what's your guilty pleasure? What do you, what can't you uh, keep from buying? Fruits. Fruits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Valentina. What about you? What's your guilty pleasure, Valentina? What do you like to buy? Valentina, even here now, because. Mm -hmm. I, I understand. I understand. Okay. Uh, yeah, which fruit do you like, uh, Samir? Uh, orange. I like so much orange. Mm. Maybe they not expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I I read an article an article about that, and they they said that uh, you know this uh, orange has a vita a particular vitamin C and has a influence in your skin. So, uh, it, like you, if you if you put some orange on um, potato, so it, it will not turn on the uh, to another color. But that's why the same thing happened to your skin. Mm -hmm. It's very, very useful, this uh, orange fruit. Yes. I understand you. Yes, good, good of you. So you've got some extra knowledge about it, about it. and uh, I for the healthy way of life. Do you think that uh, to be healthy is very important, Samir? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, of course. To be healthy is to not um, hurt your, uh, like, uh, it's don't smoke, don't... Uh, uh, just practice sport and uh, and take it easy. Don't uh, uh, don't uh, how can I say it? Don't uh, um, don't take uh, or th don't consider a problem as uh, yeah. How can as I something very don't bad. Don't exaggerate. Don't exaggerate something. Not exaggerate the problem. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You're right. So uh, well, another question. Do you agree? Or disagree with the statement it is important to buy new things in order to keep the economy growing and going. Do you think that it is true or not? Do you support this idea? Yeah, it's I support of course because yeah, if uh, mm -hmm. if uh, yeah, if I I will be a a factor of uh, uh, of a development. Yeah, I agree. A factor of development. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, thank you, Michael. Do you agree with Samir? Do you buy things to uh, support the economy of Ukraine? Uh, it's hard to say. I think it's uh, not uh, help, but uh, if, uh, if it won't help a lot. Uh, huh? yeah? It won't yes. help a lot. Yes, it, it, it's it's hard to say that, that it helps uh, a lot, but uh, we mm -hmm. can try. <laughs> we can try. Some people say that it is good to buy things of uh, this or that producer, for example, to buy only Ukrainian uh, food stuff and products in order to supply and uh, support the uh, Ukrainian economy. Do you think that it is a good idea? I think uh, uh, now we have a uh, like a flat world uh, without the, any um, uh, border. Um, uh, how to say it? Granitsa. Uh, it's uh, border. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you uh, hear from uh, from the person uh, that is Ukraine or that is Russian. It's uh, not. Uh, it can be not really uh, Ukrainian or Russian because uh, um, when uh, maybe when they produce this product on, on the plants or factories, they use uh, the foreign uh, maybe uh, material and uh, 
so yeah. yes and, I understand. Uh, if you buy it you, it work like uh, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, on on the chain yes but the mm -hmm. yes on the chain yes i agree with you yes exactly so another question do you know anyone who is minimalist describe this person uh, if you don't know any minimalist what do you think their lives are like? Good parts and bad parts, Samir? Uh, about uh, those people who uh, who are minimalists. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe it's uh, my parents. My parents. Can you describe their uh, way of life, their style of life? Uh, what do they buy, what don't they buy, and so on? I think that is uh, like the affection of parents. They they try all the time to to buy for for themselves the minimum, and yeah. to uh, yeah and to uh, allocate the the biggest parts of money for for us. So I think uh, I think it is the mini the most minimalist uh, people uh, or persons in the in that world, for in my opinion. Mm -hmm, I understand it. Uh, well, uh, Michael and Yuri, do you agree with Samir? Do you know some people who are minimalists? Uh, we, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, for whom is this question? For both of you, Michael and Yuri. Do you have any ideas? Yuri, what, what, do you Yuri, think? what do you think? My friend, he is he trades in the market, but he is a minimalist. He has a lot of money, but he is a minimalist. I understand. I understand. What about clothes? What does he buy? He? Yes. I don't know. I know that he is a minimal. Okay, only the necessary things, right? Yeah. Only the closet that he can do without. Right, okay. So, good. Uh, well, are there any questions as to today's topic about uh, vocabulary or the ideas that we have been discussing? No. If no questions, then thank you for today's class and I invite you for, to my future classes. And uh, have a nice evening. Bye for now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.